so one of the best things about van life is a day like today. We were driving down the highway, had people to see, places to go, but we were like, you know what? We see this lake on this map here, and I think we want to go check it out. So we took the first exit, cruised over to this lake, and found this gem of a place. So this whole story starts in a Walmart parking lot in Calgary, Alberta. Here she comes. Look at your muscles. That's heavier than, than it looks too. <laughs> what do you think, that's like 30 pounds? Probably more than that, probably like 50 pounds. I don't know. Calgary was pretty much like the last major city that we were gonna be in before we went off of the map. So we spent the day just kind of hustling around and getting as much stuff that we could get done before we head out of civilization. So the most important thing we had to do, the first thing we did was we got water. There's a burning. This is the one bad thing about having such a big water tank. Yep. You wanna do it? No. Oh God. Go get me what? So we've been getting all of our water from reverse osmosis water filter systems because of this one. What? Is it true? That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'd get my water from a hose. Tell me about your reverse osmosis deal. What are you talking about? There's no me, deal. Just tell me about it. I like clean water. What's wrong with that? I don't like my water smelling like friggin' chlorine. So we pay like 30 cents a gallon. It's not that bad. And it tastes good, but it makes this one happy. So sometimes you just gotta compromise. And for two bucks, it's not worth the argument. So after we left Walmart, I realized I made a big mistake and realized that that was really my last opportunity to pick up a fishing pole. And I've been thinking about getting a fishing pole for a while. Think about getting a fishing pole. You think we should get a fishing pole? I think we should. Uh, I've been fished for like 10 years, and it could save us a good amount of money if we catch fish along the way. We could. It'd be a good source of protein, good source of fat, and it'd be pretty badass if we caught our own fish. Uh, we're gonna go Let's back to it. we're gonna go back to Walmart Let's and look at fishing poles. I know the fishing in Alaska Ooh. is Lola. What's wrong? I know it's gonna be so worth it to have make a video of Kaylee trying to clean a fish once I catch one. If I catch one. I'll do it. I'll do it. You're gonna do it? I'll, yeah, I told you I was gonna do it. I didn't say it was gonna be easy. You guys have something to look forward to. <laughs> and as we were kind of going about our day and getting all the things that we needed to get, it kind of set in with me that we weren't going to have access to grocery stores as much as we used to. Um, we're gonna which, be living on Slim Jims and cream cheese. No, that's not true. <laughs> All raw tea. So we just picked up. We got a fishing pole, baby. Fishing pole, and <clears throat> just some, um, just some like dry food. So we got some beans, some rice, some peanut butter, apples. That's pretty much it. And I think it's kind of hit me a little bit, um, a lot, a lot of bit actually, that I'm not gonna be able to eat the same way that we have been, and kind of scares me a little bit because I have a very strong relationship with food and <laughs> stronger than your relationship with me <laughs> at times no <laughs> and I think it's hitting me a little bit that I'm not gonna be able to get fresh produce and fruits and all these yummy granola bars and, and now we're gonna be in the middle snacks of nowhere. because we're gonna be in the middle of nowhere and we're gonna have to rely on just the little local markets that they have, which probably isn't gonna be much from what we hear. And it's kind of starting to hit me also that we're not gonna have any Wi-Fi service, no phone service. So we're trying to put a game plan together for these videos because we might not have, we might, we might not be able to upload a video until we're in Anchorage. I'm not sure. But I mean, that might be a whole month without us 
or I don't know, three weeks, however long it takes. Yeah. And these are kind of all things we should have thought of before. Yeah, you're right. But but you know what? I think it's all good because this is this is going into new territory, not only physically but mentally. Totally. And we're gonna. Oh, you look in the camera. <laughs> you look gonna, in the camera. We're gonna um. We're definitely gonna be challenged and pushed a little bit. So what what might end up happening is you might not hear from us from for a long time. And then we'll up we're gonna upload like eight videos. Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully that's not the case. And maybe you'll just never hear from us again. Oh no. no. <laughs> we're gonna stop the dead. So the reason really why we drove through Calgary, it was kind of out of the way, it was like an hour out of the way. But we had a very special friend that lived in Calgary that we really wanted to go see. Um, and this woman goes by the name of Nan. We actually met her when we were down in Costa Rica. And she owns seven vegan restaurants all across the world. And one of her restaurants is in Costa Rica. And when we went there, a little over a year ago now, yeah. we happened to walk into a restaurant. As many of you guys know, this whole idea of living alternatively really came to us while we were in Costa Rica. Yeah. And we were starting to kind of question it towards the end. And we happened to meet Nan, who is, what were you, how would you? Super eclectic. Super spiritual. Yeah. But very, very wise. Yeah, she's a, she calls herself a teacher and she does a lot of like counseling, psychological help. Um, she just understands the human mind so, so well. And not in like a textbook way. Right. She never went to college. Right. But yeah. She just knows, she just knows people. She's amazing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Not bad, right? Yeah, <laughs> and then you don't have to go to a hotel, which is very expensive. Right. Yeah. It's, all, it's all free. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, you guys. And when we were in Costa Rica, she reassured that our thoughts were right. Yeah. And... That was kind of the starting point of this whole journey. Totally. Yeah. And then when we were closing in on Calgary, when we were about two hours away, we called her and yeah. said, hey, we're two hours away. Are you there? And she was. So we made dinner plans for the following day at her restaurant and we went and stayed and probably spent like five hours there. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so this place is 100% vegan and that's cute little nom. <laughs> that's um so these are tacos with what is this? This is poutine, right? Yeah, these are cashew cheese fries. These are cashew cheese fries. Yeah. Poutine with cashew cheese. Yeah. Um, cauliflower bites with hot sauce. And these are saute skewers. Skewers. <laughs> so of course we got talking on a really deep level with Nan. And I think there's like one line that's really gonna stick with us. <laughs> Remember the line? Yeah, it was, um, actually I'm gonna butcher this up so bad. It was, the meaning of life has no meaning at all, or something like that. The meaning of life is, life has no meaning. But just like how the whole conversation went, and then like that was how she like nailed it at the end. Yeah. And it was just like, perfect. <laughs> and now we happen to end up at this like, yeah. what's this like called? Um, Sylvan? Sylvan. Sylvan. Yeah, Sylvan Lake, about an hour and a half north of Calgary. Yep. So beautiful. Yeah. So super, amazing. Super nice. But now, we're gonna get out of here. Yeah, we have some friends to meet up with tonight. The friends that we're going to Alaska with. We're about an hour and a half south of them right now. So we got a little bit of driving to do. And I think this is gonna be like, once we see them, I think it's really gonna kind of hit us. We're gonna bring you guys with us. So. So let's go.
down there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Is that your new friend? Is that your new friend, Lola? <laughs> What's up? Yeah, Are you? Yeah, just okay. Awesome. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that seems good. Seems good? Yeah. Alright, right, guys, well, we made it. We're with our friends, and we got someone familiar. Yo! What's up, you might not know this guy. This is Navigation Nowhere. Yep. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, his bus isn't here, so you can't yeah. see it. Yeah. But we're going to go check out Jax's new bus. You might remember his yellow, like, all decaled up bus, yep. but now he's got a yep. new one. Yep. And he's building it in Canada for some reason. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll yeah. tell you the reason. Badge is the reason because we're doing vegetable oil and he's a heavy duty diesel mechanic, oh. so we have to help out. Vegetable oil is sweet. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, guys, we've been hanging out with all these dudes all day. We haven't sh we haven't shown you Dean yet. He's the only one out of this crew that's coming to Alaska. These, these guys are not coming. Even yeah, though we well, already introduced you. I mean, We're I trying like to convince them. <laughs> <laughs> but Dean is 100% coming. If you watched him. He runs 90% now. No, you better be coming. Bro, we're hijacking Dean to help out with the rest of my build. Yeah, we can, no you can have way, him, you can yeah, have right. him when we're done with him. I don't know about that. That's gonna be just September. But we've been hanging out here, it's what, 3 a.m. now? I it's think so. Is it really 3 a.m.? Almost 3 a.m. Oh, oh my god. god. The sun we just went down five minutes. The sun's ago. coming up in like an hour, so. Oh, oh my shit. god. <laughs> well Lola's passed out on the couch. You can't see her because it's totally black, but Lola's passed out over here. We're gonna go to bed. Wake up. And then do it all over again. Do it all over again. So, we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Bye.